Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be installing a new truck bed cover for my 2018 Chevy Silverado. This is a crew cab with the short bed. So hopefully this won't be too difficult. But it's definitely needed uh, so that I can keep things on the back of the truck without them being in the elements of the weather. Yesterday it was raining, went to the store, had to put some stuff on the back, so it did get soaked. But the bed cover that I decided to go with, it does have a locking option on it, which was part of the reason I decided to go with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we'll see the finished product shortly. So stay tuned and see which truck bed cover I decided to go with. The truck bed cover is coming along nicely so far. The rails have been assembled and I am installing the clamps now. So the cover that I went with, it does have uh, quick clamps that were an option. I decided to go with those instead of drilling into the bed. All right, so we have the bed cover rails assembled. And I've just assembled the, or I've just installed the clamps. So there was an option to go with rear clamps or bed clamps to install the cover instead of drilling. I decided to do that. So there are six clamps that you have to install onto the bed. For this process is gonna be three on each side. All right, so I have set the rails on the top of the truck bed. Everything is lined up. The back of the rails here are spaced with a 3 drill bit as recommended. And then just measure near the top. The distance from the truck bed lid to the outer edge of the rail here on both sides. That's to make sure the front part is centered. So after that, I've installed the brackets on both sides and then I just need to put the rubber grommets on every other panel so that I can uh, go ahead and get the lid onto the truck. All right, so the cover is on. It is stiff. It's supposed to be stiff initially because it's brand new and the parts have to be worked in. Uh, the last two adjustments with the, these clamps here, these are the only clamps that aren't currently screwed down. Those are the middle clamps. So those far ramps, the front of the truck bed are what adjusts with those screws at the bottom so that the rollers are able to roll up that ramp onto the track here. And then at the back, make 
make sure these are lined up. And it is able to move freely. And the last two adjustments, like I said, are going to be the middle clamps there. All right, so the installation of the head cover is complete now. So the last parts, I said that it was the clamps here. It was actually the two gas springs. So those help push the cover up. So you can see here, it kind of looks slightly down, which is normal. Uh, for the manufacturer, they said that for the first 24 to 48 hours, they recommend locking it so that these can, the seals can be broken in correctly. So it does look nice. I'm happy with it. It wasn't difficult to do. I did take my time. The only thing I didn't install, thinking about it now, was the, uh, they have a tailgate seal kit, which I also have too. So I will install that as well. I'm guessing it just goes right along this part. But overall, I'm happy with it. It makes the truck look better, and it also provides a lot. So I can put things on the back of the truck, and I don't have to worry about anything being taken or beaten by the weather here's the lock here this is the key lock and it's the dual boat so it locks on both sides that's an extra option i think the if you don't get that option it, it only locks on one side i'm assuming that side of course but that's still good either way so this uh truck bed cover as you may have already determined is called the Paragon. It's the Paragon folding cover. So what you do is push in here. The gas springs kind of help bring it back. It does seem a little aggressive on that last slam, but it's not too bad. Um, I do like this. Like I said, this is very nice from the other covers that I've seen. I'll also try to show you another one on a Chevy Silverado as well. It's the uh, rubber flip back. And I'll try to compare it and show you the difference in these covers. So that's the end of this video. It's the Paragon cover. And I'll have the link below on where you can get the Paragon cover. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you like it. Hit the like button. Comment. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.